hello everyone welcome to my channel if it is your first time to be here thank you so much for clicking this video and to all my returning subscribers thank you so much for the love and the support so in today's video i want to talk about my first assignment when i came to saudi arabia or what i do as a housemaid As you all know, as a housemaid, uh, all the work that is being done in the house, let me say all the house chores, right? Everything that is being done in the house, you are uh, you as a house help, those are the kind of jobs that you're supposed to do. And sometimes, do you know that you can go even extra mile to do another thing that you're not even, hmm? you are not appointed or being told to do. You know why? Sometimes you will do out of love, sometimes you will just, be, sometimes you will be forced to do it, Sometimes the condition or the situation will force you to do it. But no matter what, anything being done in the house, as long as it is clean, as long as it is good, it gives you some extra money or you are doing them out of love, please don't get tired. Keep on doing them and only God is the one that will reward you. So my first assignment when I came first in this house and before that guys there is a video there are two videos that i made my uh, my experience from airport to the house where i'm working and my first experience in the house okay and now this is the third video about my still my first experience when i come to my job the things that i'll be doing in that house so i was told in the morning when i wake up in the morning I should water the plant. There was a garden outside there whereby there were plants, let me say vegetables. So I was the one to do that job. I hope you're getting my point. I was, I, my, I was told that I should be the one taking care of that garden. Another thing I was told, like when I wake up in the morning, I'm the one that's supposed to clean all the toilets in the house, no matter how many they are. Like, so I should clean them like daily and clean all the rooms every day. And sometimes, let me say in that house where I used to work before, the carpet, it was a wall to wall carpet. So most of the time I was not using like mopper to mop the floor, but the a vacuum, I was, it was a must to vacuum all the rooms in the house and to wipe all the dust on the tables. You know what I talk about the tables. Another thing I was told in the morning, to prepare breakfast for everybody. You know, it was just normal because people were waking up differently. So it was just tea. And then when somebody comes, they'll just tell you what they want and then you prepare for them. So it was that easy. So, but for me, I was told like, after I finish uh, watering the garden and then cleaning the house, I should take my breakfast. Another thing I was told after my breakfast, now it was now time to prepare, okay? To prepare for um, onions, the tomatoes, uh, everything to put them ready for my boss to come so that we can cook together. Because when I was new, I was not cooking their food like I alone. I was there with my boss seeing what she's doing. And when she wants something or she needs something, she could tell me, do this, bring that. That was it. And then after preparing lunch, now it was cleaning. And then after the cleaning, I will go now to iron the clothes that I washed the day before. So it was like I wash all the clothes today. Then tomorrow, uh, when I'm at least I have a break now, it will be now time for me to do what to go iron. Okay. So, and then after that, uh, I'll, I'll continue ironing until in the evening. And in the evening now, I will go again in the garden and water the plants. So the plants, I was told like I should water them like twice in a day. Okay. And then there was a compound there. There was a huge compound around the house. So I was told like every day, if I don't wash it, I must sweep it. So I must sweep all the compound or I must uh, wash it with water. And in some places I've realized like uh, in other homes, you can, if there is a driver in that house, he is the one that will take care of the garden. If there is the garden, he's the one that will be washing the compound or sweeping if there is a driver. But in at my case, there was no driver. So I was the one that was doing everything. So I, all these, let me say, all are done. Now it is in the evening. Remember, now it's another time again to do what to cook now dinner. 
it is now time to cook dinner again i will go back to the kitchen to see what i will be told do this and do this okay and then we will cook dinner and then after dinner then again i'll do the cleaning and then uh clean the kitchen and go back again and continue with the ironing because the ironing were much i was in a big family I remember uh is like a mother he's a big mother you know she has a family uh, children and her children some are married so you see that uh, it's a huge family um, and uh, some were married and stayed there with their wives so it's it was a huge family and remember you are the only person that is supposed to do everything in that house so it was just like do this do that some all like you should be cleaning washing ironing and you will find yourself like doing extra job example like when i came my boss my boss says let me say both of them were sick and my boss uh leave out my madam now my boss was sick he was really sick and it reached a time whereby he could not walk so i was being told like now um uh, to do him massage like on his feet or legs but thank god i was doing that but they were paying me extra so i can't say anything about that but i myself i was doing it out of love it was not like somebody pushed me to do it i was just asked that can you do this and then uh i said yes and even i didn't know that there is something that i'll be with I'll, i they, that they will be paying me but then later paying me so i was doing me out of love and then another thing is my madam now my madam now has she too she was sick and i was the one that um because i was the one waking up in the morning before everybody so i should take care of her medicine like uh, she was taking injections so i must see the uh how she takes her injection a uh, how uh her food too she had problem of walking she had the high, high blood pressure the, she had this um and she was diabetic so i was the one that was taking care of her like uh help her and sometimes she could pin, feel the pain on her knees and her feet and i was the one doing massage as well so you see so i love this family like my own family and that's why i was doing that when i said like you can end up like doing extra job there are people that can push you force you they will not even understand the way you are tired or they will not even see what you are doing they will not even appreciate they will keep on like telling you do this do this do this and some will just ask you politely but because of how they ask you they approach you you will just say okay if it is that way i'll just do it so according to me i was doing it out of love and it did not stop there it continued like now i was now like everybody when they they come in the house when they came to visit their mother now uh because they see that i'm doing massage to their father or their mother they will be like everybody now sitting down with the pillows uh putting their legs there now that uh even to color style when you are done with that tali tali so it was like hey and then i said no this is too much i remember telling them this is not my work i'm just doing it out of love and because your mother and father are sick that's why i'm helping them it is not my work and they were like ah why are you talking like this and i was like yes i know my right it is not because me too i'm tired i need somebody to do mine as well so when they realized that i was that tough they stopped so as a household there are some things like when you see people are taking advantage of you please don't keep quiet try to speak try to speak because some they think that they are just you are there to do that you know some are thinking that you are there to do that but please remind them you are there not to do that let them know that you know you're right so i continue working in this house they were that lovely family and i can say like i was working like hey my god it was busy the house was busy like my job was just busy it was just running up and down running up and down and uh i could wake up at 8 in the morning and then sleep at 12 p.m so 12 a.m sorry so that was how i was working and now i felt sick okay when i felt sick uh this was let me say after after like when i worked there for five months now now my sickness was the toothache the toothache started like it was now so painful so painful and i tried all i knew that can stop that can give me the relief okay but it did not stop it continued like 
so it was like every day every day and this toothache went too much and i was telling them like i'm feeling pain so when i told them that i'm feeling pain and they would tell me just eat panadol they will buy panadol like panadol 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 or they will tell you to put a uh, uh, groomford i don't know groomford is what in english i will check and write it there for you what is groomford yes to uh, to put to chew so that to relieve the pain so i tried everything that i could but it did not work and now this thing went worse it went to us like now i could not eat even open my mouth and now it could fall so long because it took so many months um without taking care of it so uh, I told them like now this is too much I can't continue working because I'm not eating and I'm not sleeping and I'm feeling too much pain so the best thing for me now because I've told you like I want to go to the hospital and nobody is thinking of this now I'm ready to go back home let me go back home go and pluck my teeth and then I'll be back and they were like what you want to go back to thing yes and tell them yes I can't continue working like this and then they told me okay if you want to go to the hospital just continue wait we are waiting for somebody to come and take you to the hospital and i was like well, how long will i continue waiting for the person to come and take me to the hospital my situation is coming worse i'm feeling too much pain and then uh their son came because he was in school okay he was not living uh, together with us he was in school there and then uh once in a while he could come back home so he came and then uh, i was like nobody even told cared to tell him what is happening and then i told him like you know what i'm in too much pain i'm trying to tell everybody in this house but nobody it seems like nobody cares but i'm really feeling so pain and then he said yes i can see uh, your face is swollen and then he asked me what is the problem then i told him the problem that i have my i have a toothache and this toothache has been on on and off on and off for eight good months and i'm feeling too much pain right now i can't even eat or drink so he was like what i came here before why didn't you tell me and i was like i told your mother i told your mother and sisters everybody knows about this issue but then he told me okay i will take you tomorrow to the hospital so i went to the hospital and it seems like the tooth was worse so the thing that they the doctor told me like now this the the thing that how we can do this is through operation we will do uh for the tooth to be plucked and that is what was done exactly and it was so painful i can tell you it was so painful and it it was my molar it is called molar yes it was molar the last tooth so it was uh operated and then the tooth was removed and then uh it was uh and then some stitches were made for real i went through pain i went through pain like one week without opening my mouth i was just trying to open and even medicine to take my medicine was i could mix my medicine together with water and then use a straw use a straw to drink to sip my medicine it was really so painful for one week and my head was really swollen i wish i could make photos by then but i did not have a good phone to make photos so i did not make photo and i got healed after one month there was no photos that i made okay so i'm trying to make my stories now uh these stories i'm trying to make them for new people okay everybody that let me say that is planning to come to saudi arabia or those people that are already in saudi arabia then i normally make my videos so that um people can learn about what i've been through or what i'm going through uh, because me before i came i did not know anything everything i'm just learning because it is through experience all i've been through all i'm, I'm i've been seeing and uh, that's why i'm trying to share with to share with people so that anybody can learn from me and see if they can make it or they can't make it and another thing uh if you are working let me say if you are working as a house manager there are so many things that you can find out like when you are working there um there are some extra job like let me say if there is a sick person in the house uh some people will tell you to take care of that person let me say like an elderly person there are elderly people and there are some that are not elderly let me say a sick person so they can tell you that you are the one that you you are the one that will be taking care of that person so it is you to say yes or it is you to say no please it is you to say yes and it is you to say no don't just accept the once you have accepted remember you will carry that burden until the end until the end and if you tell them that you can't they will not force you they will not force you so it is you to make decision if there are things that you can't do please just tell them instantly i will not do 
nobody will force you and nobody will beat you because of saying that and if you see they are insisting or they are not if they are insisting and they uh, you are not uh, they are not understanding what you are telling them just tell them sir or madam please just return me to the office because the job that i was assigned to do was this and this is what i can do so that is what will help you to uh, to to be with these people and another thing if you have something in mind please always try to speak tell them tell them what you are not feeling good about if they tell you anything that you're not happy about try to tell them i don't like this we don't do this try to speak not even if, if they tell you something and then you get upset and then you keep quiet with it you are the one that will suffer you will get into the depression especially why the way we are living like you are just alone most of the time you are just quiet and again remember when somebody upsets you so you see the upsets and the keeping quiet nobody to talk to and this upset you will be depressed so to avoid any kind of such things please try always to tell them when they tell you anything that you don't like please tell them instantly i don't like this so in my situation you can see i was sick for eight good months and i was like telling them telling them please help me so that there there was a, a red flag and because i was patient you see i was patient and i loved my work and i knew why i was i was there okay i knew why i was there so my prayers was i was praying like god give me strength if you give me an opportunity to come here and you have given me life to do this job so many people are looking for kind of jobs they are not finding anything so but me you have given me so just give me wisdom give me courage and strength and give me good health so that i can continue doing this job and this thing continued taking painkillers and praying and believing god that i'll be healed and it was getting worse and worse so you see so there there was a red flag if there was somebody let me say if it was someone you could be now start complaining like oh if it comes to you when you are telling me to do this i normally do for you but how about when it is me you are not doing to me for me so you see I, it took patient though they took me to the hospital and thank god it was their money and in fact they took me to a very very good hospital where my teeth was like it was a private hospital and remember uh as house managers we normally go i think it's government hospital yeah whereby we are treated free there because we have e-commerce when we are in contract but this one they took me to the hospital the private one and it was expensive it was expensive and they were the one that took care of that so you see my patient okay though it was so painful but that patient and um and being loving what i was doing is what made me now uh they took me to the hospital and my my friends or uh, let me say all house managers uh according to my story to what i've learned please uh what i can advise you if you are sick if you are sick please always try to um, if you are sick and you know you are you are not able to do anything and you are feeling bad please always remember not to do work if you are sick just tell them i'm sick and not they will don't continue working because when you're saying you are sick and they are seeing you working they will pretend like maybe you are feeling better you know they will pretend like ah she's saying that she's feeling this but yet she's doing this so i've learned something like when you are sick always say you are sick and if just say you are sick and don't do anything be patient tell them to take you to the hospital because it is your right you are not supposed to work when you are sick according to my condition if it was something else i think even it it is just god you people it is just god because even you know the toothache can kill you can die because of toothache and i thank god because it was not my time yet though i suffered and even i ended up losing a lot of weight i know people were saying in my last video i remember telling people like i was i was almost 100 kgs so you people from 100 kgs to 70 kgs within that one month 30 kgs were gone i dropped a lot of weight even when i was going back to the hospital for checkup they were like what you have dropped a lot of weight so this alarm they, they call pain alarm in arabic okay they had so i was like what so the, the doctor is happy because i've dropped a lot of weight so you see so i really uh lost a lot of weight so if it was another sickness maybe it could have led to something else nobody knows it's only god so it, my advice for you as a house manager if you're feeling unwell and you know you are feeling pain 
tell them and please don't do anything sit and tell them i'm feeling bad let them take you to the hospital and if then when after the hospital then you can continue with the working because after checkup now the doctor will know what is troubling you and then you are free to go you know you are free to do your work so guys that was my first experience let me say the works that i'm doing and guys if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share with friends always share 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 with friends and see